everybody so we had our first match of group H Belgium against Algeria and the game ended up with a win 2-1 for Belgium but in a game that they played surprisingly not well having a lot of difficulty creating scoring opportunities for them in the beginning a not shy team of Algeria playing without fear of having the ball having possession passing the ball around and going up the field with the Belgium team playing very slowly without pressuring the opponents letting them have the ball and passing the ball between them at minute 23 a nice ball in the left by Goulam that crosses into the box and there's a penalty called over fellow Guy committed by Vertogen the referee calls it and it's the man that suffered the foul that's going to take the penalty in scores and it's 1-0 to Algeria and the weakest team is at the front of the scoreboard after that Belgium tried to play a little bit better a little bit quicker being a team a little bit more dynamic but without creating any dangerous opportunities the only slight danger that they created were through a couple of shots from Witzel but those shots were really long shots really from far away so they didn't scare that much the Algerian team with Algeria being in the front of the score they start playing very defensively and they were really very well organized their defense was really compact making very difficult for Belgium to go inside the box and cause scoring situations for them in the second half we had more of the same with Algeria going up the field a few times making a few scares to Belgium especially at minute 58 in a corner Mejani has a really nice header and the ball doesn't go far from the post and at this point Belgium really needing to pick up the pace and elevate their game and that's what they did in the final 25 minutes of the game with the subs coming in they start playing much faster placing the ball around much better and finally having some good chances one of those chances were at minute 66 Origi receives the ball alone runs a few meters with it and has a really good shot for a really good save by the Algerian goalkeeper finally at minute 70 Belgium scores a goal a really nice cross by Kevin De Bruyne into the box Fellaini runs away from the defender has a nice header and the ball was unsavable for the goalkeeper it's 1-1 the game is tied with Belgium finally finding a hole in the Algeria's defense at minute 80 Algeria loses the ball in their opponent's midfield Hazard picks the ball has a nice run through the left he makes a really good pass into the right to Mertens that receives the ball and has a really good shot and Belgium scores the second goal they are finally at the front of the scoreboard proving that they are a better team than Algeria a few minutes later Belgium almost scores another goal in a nice team play the ball ends up being crossed into the box and once again Fellaini has a really good header but the Algerian good keeper makes an amazing save keeping the score with only a one goal difference so in the end Belgium wins 2-1 but they had a really poor game they only started playing a decent game in the last 25 minutes of the game but even then they were still playing very far from what was expected from them they are a really talented team they have really good players and they have to play much better if they want to go far in this competition so a few players were more noticeable than others for Algeria the players that had a better game were Feguli that was really good in the midfield he was the one that scored the goal from a penalty but he did more than that he was very good defensively when Algeria would go up the field he was also very good playing in the midfield and having a lot of good passes and a lot of good individual plays also a player for them that came in the second half was Islam Slimani I know this player very well because he plays for my favorite team but he really played well on the game of course having in consideration what Algeria can do and the quality of their players and their team but Islam Slimani was really good in the center for a position receiving balls holding up possession and passing the ball to teammates but unfortunately for him the team wasn't able to carry on those plays for Belgium the players that had the best game were Fellaini that scored one of the goals he came out of the bench and played really well also another player that came out of the bench Origi who was very good very influential very important in the second goal of Belgium but for me the best player on the pitch is also their star player and it's Eden Hazard. In the first half when Belgium was playing really bad he was probably the only player that still had a few good runs and a few good details and when Belgium started playing better was through him that the balls would pass most of the times especially on the left wing making a very good dribbles around the defenders playing really well he is the one who assists for the second goal so for me the man of the match is Eden Hazard. So everybody I think that's about it, don't forget to comment, like, share the video with all your friends, subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified when I put new videos on. My name is Bruno Freire and as always, I'll see you next time.